Hello everyone, Cup here and welcome back to some more Machabellum. I wanted this video to be a 2v2 on the new compact map, but my friend fell asleep yesterday so we couldn't play anymore. Thanks Memphisto. However, I played some solos and it was pretty interesting. Uh, the meta definitely kind of changed and yeah, let me show you one of my matches. It was pretty fun and I also made use of the new missile interceptor turret. So let's get into it. I'm starting Heavy Armor Specialist with Tanks and Arc Lights. My opponent is Rhino Specialist with Crawlers and Stormcallers. I feel like two Stormcallers are still pretty good. I feel like mm, it might be optimal now kind of to just have two Stormcallers just to do some work but at the same time be not enough of a threat so your opponent hard counters your Stormcallers. But yeah, that's my experience so far at least. Anyways, I added some crawlers behind the towers to split. Arc lights should be pretty good at dealing with the opponent's crawlers quickly. And some of my crawlers actually coming through. Opponent does not really have the best uh, clear for my crawlers and with crawlers in the face the marksmen and storm crawlers can't deal with them positioning of my opponent is pretty juicy for a missile strike so i'm going for it it's just too good I usually like to skip round 2 for the 50 additional credits, however it's just too good here. I can take out one of the Stormcaller packs, a Marksman and like half of the Crawlers probably on the right. However now I only have 400 so I cannot unlock a tier 2 unit and buy 2 packs of them. And instead I'm deciding to go for some crawlers with a mobile beacon in the front to distract the storm callers. There will be only one pack left hopefully this turn but it will also help me out in the future turns. And I'm adding a marksman. I got the marksman here because I was expecting my opponent to get arc lights to deal with my crawlers and they did. So the marksman is good against the arc lights and my missile strike boom took out a lot. So yeah, one pack of storm crawlers, the marksman and quite a few crawlers as well. And yeah, with like a good chunk of my opponent's army gone already uh, from the missile strike, this was uh, an easy round. Mass produced wasps could be really good here and I'm actually picking them too. Uh, do note though, you cannot sell the 100 cost wasps for 200 anymore. That was changed with the patch that just came out. But I still pick them up because wasps are good here. My opponent only has two marksmen so far that can attack air. So they are good to distract them but also I can actually try and flank with one pack of wasps as well. Might actually get through to the tower. And my opponent now got their level 2 Rhino. I don't have the best answer just yet to a level 2 Rhino. Don't have the greatest damage. But hopefully with the flank and my wasps and I also placed two sentries. Um, I should hopefully be able to get this round. And here we go. And my opponent actually also went for mass produced wasps. And unfortunately one of the packs is close to the flank 
By the way, however, I took the armor upgrade on the tower. So my wasps are actually better than my opponent's wasps. Because they can take an additional hit. I, I assume that the breakpoints are like that. Because my wasps just won. So the armor upgrade on the tower was actually making the difference here. And yeah, the level 2 rhino, really annoying. It's alive for so long. However, the rest of the battle was in my favor and I also got the towers, so... So far, so good. By the way, it made sense that my opponent also went for the wasps, because I only have one marksman. <laughs> a single marksman that can attack air, so it did make sense for sure. And I'm going for some mustangs now, since my opponent has wasps. And also I have the option to go for anti-missile mustangs as well, just in case I want to get rid of the stormcallers rockets and I want to counter them and maybe they will build more stormcallers or something. So mustangs I thought were a good choice here. And my opponent is going for a Vulcan with laser sight I think, so with additional range. And missiles hitting one pack of wasps down and not sure what it hit on the right. I think a couple of crawlers and a storm caller or something. Wasps coming in on the left though. My opponent still doesn't have the greatest defense against wasps. Going all the way through on the left and also took out a sniper there. However, I'm getting wrecked on the right. And the Vulcan obviously can tank forever against mass-produced wasps. They deal almost no damage. And even with just one or two marksmen left, my opponent can take out my wasps. By the way, also, I noticed um, since the patch, I'm seeing way more giants as well. So that was also kind of to be expected because giants were often not a good choice because there were already so many stormcallers on the field and maybe also leveled stormcallers. And then if you put down a Vulcan or something, it just gets shut down by stormcallers really quick. But this is not the case anymore since there are less stormcallers. And yeah, definitely seeing more giants. And I'm playing giants myself here. I went for a fortress. And I picked up intensive training, so I already have a level 2 fortress now. Fortress to counter the Vulcan. And I also have in mind that if my uh, opponent decides to go for more wasps, though they also sold uh, already sold one pack, so I'm not thinking they will, but even if they would, I could still press the anti-air missiles on the fortress as well. But yeah, for now fortress is just good to counter Vulcans and I definitely need the damage. Also good to counter the Rhino. Still didn't have the greatest damage against the Rhino but fortress is really good against that too. However, only one fortress so far and it's on the left, so can't really deal with the Rhino on the right just yet. But I'm coming through. On the left I'm taking the tower actually. Still my opponent has not fully shut down my wasps. I think they, they thought that, well, mass produced wasps and I'm probably going to sell them or something. And... Yeah, I would sell them, but only if my opponent actually reacts to them, so until they react, I'm, I don't need to sell them, so <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I 
should have and could have kind of started selling the flank though I guess because the flank is kind of useless there but that's also 100 investment to get the cell uh, cell upgrade and if I don't want to sell anything else I don't really need to also they just defend with wasps on the right so I don't care about the wasps and they're probably selling wasps and not really leveling the wasps anyways so doesn't really matter I guess um, I went for a second fortress and I gave them the shield upgrade also something you see way more now uh, not only giants but also barriers I keep saying shields but I mean barrier um, Barrier on the fortress, really good now. Was good before, but it seems even stronger now because there are lef less stormcallers and less leveled stormcallers. And then the barriers hold for way longer because stormcallers were really good damage against barriers and are still really good damage against barriers. But yeah, with less stormcallers barriers just hold for way longer and also barrier really good against Vulcans Vulcans have crap damage against barriers and it made sense here my opponent finally decided to do something about the wasps and got three packs of mustangs uh, so now is the time where I would start selling my wasps actually My fortress on the right finally targeting the rhino and is also taking care of the rhino so this time my right side isn't completely lost but also I'm not getting through on the left just as well as before because of the mustangs taking out my wasps however level 2 fortress really good Opponent doesn't really have the best damage. There's one pack of level 2 Stormcallers though, which are good against my fortress. Um, however, level 2 fortress really strong obviously. But not with the tower debuff. So yeah, that was enough by my opponent. So the Mustangs taking out my wasps quicker definitely helped. But at the same time, I don't really mind. Um, oh, by the way, something I forgot to mention. I picked up the... What's it called? Hyperdrive on the boss. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Uh, that's not the name. But the, the upgrade that you can freely move them around. And that upgrade, by the way, costs zero credits just now for me because I have tech specialist I was so confused during the match and I thought it was a bug to be honest I thought wait why is this upgrade zero dollar <laughs> I was so confused and only after the match I realized oh wait I had tech specialist and also it only costs 50 on wasps um, I usually don't have that uh, tech upgrade on my wasps but I decided to have it here for some reason and I went for a third fortress here and I gave them the punch upgrade and now I'm placing two anti-missile turrets uh, missile interceptor turrets uh, that were added this patch just to negate some or most of the opponent's stormcaller's shots since both stormcallers are now level 2 and intercepting those missiles is very valuable to keep my shields on the fortresses alive for way longer and also, yeah, there's a melting point. Uh, punches are also good against melting points. Especially leveled fortresses with punch just take out the melting point quicker than the melting point can take out the fortress. And I also expect the melting point to come out anyways. So yeah, I, I basically already set up for this. And here we go, melting point on my fortress. Boom, <laughs> gets punched and is dead. And on the right, punch and boom dead so my fortresses just moving in leveled fortresses with punches really strong that being said first of all gg that being said though um melting points 
with the electromagnetic missiles or whatever they are called the tech upgrade that disables techs would have been or would be the counter to my punching fortresses and so if this game would have gone on longer for like one or two more rounds then my opponent could have definitely countered my fortresses i think that being said my fortresses were also already decently leveled so i'm not sure actually but yeah just so you were wondering about a counter to punching fortresses it is usually melting points with electromagnetic missiles overall so far i'm a bit confused by this patch i'm a the meta is definitely different but i can't really put my finger on it but let's give it a couple of days and figure things out all right anyways gg's hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video hopefully 2v2 on the compact map but let's see if my friend is awake at some point <laughs> all right thank you guys for watching take care bye